Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranjiraj, and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So, in my previous video, I discussed regarding uh, the introduction or gave an introduction to the artificial intelligence. What is it? How is it? And what are the different components? So, in this video, we will be seeing what are the uh, intelligent agent or the structure of intelligent agents in artificial intelligence. So, we have seen the definition of artificial intelligence in the previous video. So, today, uh, I'll be discussing regarding the agent architecture or what is an intelligent agent basically so first of all uh, in this diagram you can see two different blocks so first let us move on to the uh, left side so on the left side you have the agents so this agent is some uh, like for uh, a machinery in fact uh, which can produce some actions and for that actions uh, it will produce uh, or it will sense some of the sensing uh, uh, with the help of some uh, sensory organs which it has so uh, first of all uh, we have this agent so this agent has some processing unit some logic is there that is given by this question mark and then it has uh, got some sensors so the sensors are basically used for sensing from the environment which actually persists from this environment and uh, it stores some result and then it processes into this logical unit and after it processing uh, it gives to the actuators for actual action uh, to the environment means first of all uh, this environment which is on the right hand side is any normal environment that's around us or that is around the agent or the robot so that environment would produce some kind of uh, its actions on this agent and so this agent will perceive those kind of actions or those kind of sense and uh, based upon its logic which it has, which is represented by this question mark, it will produce some appropriate results or appropriate tasks or activities which would be sent to this actuators for giving, for driving one particular action to this. So uh, this is how the agent architecture is there. Now this question mark can be replaced depending upon which type of agent you are using. So there has uh, got five different types of uh, agents for this so first is the simple reflex agent model based agent goal based agent utility based agent and the learning agent so i'll be covering those uh, in my successive videos so for the time being just uh, for the basic understanding uh, this is just question mark which represents some kind of uh, action or pro uh, for processing unit now let's define this intelligent agent so an agent is an intelligent system which has an uh, AI that is artificial intelligence imparted to it. So whenever any agent like uh, when you create any dummy model and you incorporate artificial intelligence into it. So it is called as the intelligent agent and uh, why it is called as an intelligent agent because it behaves in such a manner. Like we human beings behave, we have got senses, eyes, ears, nose, skin etc. These are also got some senses. So, so something it perceives from the environment through senses, it decides actions whether or to not react through its actuators. So all those are included in an intelligent agent. So uh, that's about the architecture as well as the uh, definition. So let us move on to the examples for this. So first of all, uh, we have this human agent that is human itself. So we have uh, sensory organs which helps us to sense the environment. Uh, from the eyes, nose, ears, skin and actuators uh, depending upon the uh, external conditions or environment we can act upon this environment with the help of our hands, fingers, mouth, lips etc. Then coming to uh, computer based systems we have a hardware agent as well as software agent so for hardware agent exact uh, example is for robotic agent when you create any robots you have sensors so sensors is like uh, in robotic agents there is camera, NFC, near field communication, RFID, radio frequency, identification and for actuators you have mechanical links, joints as well as motors uh, which you can find in any uh, toy robots or any big robots so you can just relate it with them and since hardware agent is there also you have software agent so software agent like for software agent you write some functions with the help of some programming languages so that function actually uh, accepts the input from a key store it can be like that uh, when you input any uh, like command from the keyboard that is like a sense or if it reads any data from a data file or it receives any packet from an incoming traffic or a network packet so all those are considered as senses 
then you have actuators here uh, which will perform or when it processes when final processing is done actuators in terms of software region will display that output on its monitor or screen or some like other peripheral device it has so that is like uh, the actuators uh, in fact and then you have uh, it writes files since it reads file it also writes file with the help of actuators or it sends packets to network uh, since it receives some packets so that is sense this is actually actuators so well that's about all the intelligent agent architecture this is the architecture this is diagram these are the examples so well this is all about this so hope you enjoyed this video found this video helpful please hit the like button i absolutely haven't subscribed to my channel to subscribe thanks for watching this